To begin, you're going to need a ball ornament, preferably one that's already clear. But I don't have a clear ornament, and I'm starting with this blue one here. So what I'm going to need to do is sand away the color, and I'll do that with 320 grit sandpaper and water. After sanding, I find that there's a chrome layer inside. So to get rid of that, what I do is I fill the ball up with water and an abrasive. In my case, I just found some tiny little pebbles, but sand would work just as well, or really anything. And I just go at it and start swishing it around in there, and it does work slowly but surely. If you have a pipe cleaner, you could probably scrape it off much faster than this. As you can see, there's a bunch of shining chrome floating around in there, so it does work. You just got to be patient. Once you've finally got a clean and clear ornament, you've got to pick out the glass you want to use for the project. You want to find glass that is as flat as possible, or at least has minimal curvature, because the more awkward of a shape, the less likely it'll stick to the piece. I've got glass laying around everywhere from a bunch of different projects and a bunch of different beach trips, so I'm going on a little adventure around the house to find pieces that I could work with. An assortment of colors, shapes, and sizes would be best, uh, just aesthetically, maybe not necessarily for putting it together. After I've got my pieces picked out, I'll give them a cleaning to get rid of all the loose dirt, and I'll just rinse them off once or twice. To remove some of the more stubborn dirt, you can either scrub or use heat. I used heat. Make sure if you use heat to season liberally. Personally, I just use salt and pepper, but whatever your heart desires. After your glass is clean, dry it off. The best method would just be to wipe it with paper towels and air dry it. But I'm in a rush, and I'm impatient as always, so I'm going to hit it with a torch. And unfortunately, too much heat did crack several of the pieces, so I suppose you should not do it this way. Now to begin assembly. Lightly rough up the glue surface of all of the glass pieces to increase adhesion. This isn't necessary, but it does assure that the pieces will stick better to the glass. You don't want them falling off, so probably do this step. For the glue, I used hot glue, but a jewelry glue would actually work much better for both strength and aesthetics, as most of them tend to dry clear rather than hot glue, which dries white. I'll quickly zoom through the assembly. And done. You could leave it like this, but as you can see, there are quite a few cracks and crevices where there is no glass. So what I'm going to do is crush up some muscovite and abalone to try and make a sparkly, pretty dust and then glue the dust into those cracks with the exposed glass. Now, unfortunately, this turned out terribly. And after crushing up the abalone and the muscovite, it just turned into this ugly dust powder that I still decided to glue on anyway. Now a good filler for all these crevices and cracks here would be to use sand. Uh, I don't have sand and I don't really want to go get some. So I've been using this abalone and muscovite mixture, but it doesn't really look that good to be honest. And it just adds to glue. Um, but if you have sand, sand would be probably the best option here. Because of the extra weight, the top that came 
with this ornament is not going to work. Uh, as you can see, it just pops right off. So what we're going to have to do is beef up this little metal piece here so that it doesn't come apart so easily. So I've got a bunch of this wire laying around here and it's definitely a lower gauge than this. So I'm going to untangle it, get one piece out, and then replicate this shape. Obviously not perfect, but I'm going to give it a shot, and if it doesn't work, I'll keep modifying it. Nope. Alright, I'll repeat the process, but with three layers instead of one. Let's see if this works. Maybe. Not quite. I ended up using a combination of uh, glue and wire. Yeah, the glue doesn't look that good, but again, what you could do is you just put sand on top so it'd be covered in sand. You wouldn't even see the glue. Just as a little bonus, these are super easy to make. Sandal or really any shell you want. They already have a hole in them and all you had to do is poke a little tiny other hole in them very carefully. Uh, this one already came with another hole so all I had to do is run some wire through it. And that was that. Ready to be hung up, super simple. Spray painted it because it was a, kind of an ugly color but there you go. Now another thing you can do with these to spice them up a little bit is um, run an LED light right down the top here, or just drop it in there. Um, I think it would probably make it look really nice, and it gets rid of all the glue mistakes too, because they kind of just blend in with the light. But I didn't do that. I kind of prefer it without the light in there, to be honest. But it does look cool either way.